Chinatown, a film from 1974, is a gripping tale set in Los Angeles. It follows a smart private investigator who gets tangled in a web of deceit, power, and secrets. This movie takes you on a journey through surprising twists and turns with moments that will make you laugh, leave you in shock, and even bring a tear to your eye. One scene that might stick with you is the intense confrontation at the end. It's powerful and leaves a strong impression. The film's lasting appeal comes from its clever storytelling and the way it captures the essence of its time, making it a standout piece in movie history. Now, we're curious about you. What's your most memorable moment from Chinatown? Have you had a personal experience tied to this film? So share your stories and memories with us in the comments. We're excited to read them. The 1974 movie Chinatown, directed by Roman Polanski, was well received when it was released. It became known for its story and the way it was made. People liked the movie a lot, and it had a big effect on movies and TV shows that came after it. The movie's style and story influenced other directors and writers. Later, a second movie called The Two Jakes was made, which continued the story of Chinatown. This movie did not do as well as the first one. Chinatown also led to the creation of books, games, and other items that were related to the movie. These helped to keep the story alive for new audiences. The movie is still talked about today and is seen as an important part of movie history. In a twist of fate, the role of Evelyn Mulray saw Faye Dunaway stepping in after Ollie McGraw, initially slated for the part, departed from producer Robert Evans. Jane Fonda was also a strong contender for this significant role. Behind the scenes, screenwriter Robert Town faced challenges with the script's pace. To overcome this, he collaborated with Edward Taylor, an old college friend who contributed without credit. This partnership was essential in completing the script under the pressing deadlines. The film's memorable line, ranked 74th among the top 100 movie quotes by the American Film Institute, encapsulates the essence of the narrative and has become a staple reference in cinematic dialogue. In their search for a collaborative project, Roman Polanski and Jack Nicholson discovered the script that would become their next venture. A curious coincidence occurs near the film's conclusion, where a character's request for a brief delay aligns precisely with the remaining runtime, though this synchronicity was not planned. The film's dialogue echoes the complexities of policing in a district rife with linguistic diversity and criminal factions, mirroring a genuine exchange between the writer and a former law enforcement officer. This conversation highlighted the challenges faced by police in distinguishing between aiding victims or inadvertently supporting criminal activities. In the scenic Orange Grove sequence, the location was none other than Triad Ranch in Moore Park, California, a site belonging to Walter Brennan, a colleague of John Easton. During a pivotal scene, authenticity was paramount, leading Faye Dunaway to urge Jack Nicholson to deliver a real slap. Despite reservations, Nicholson complied, resulting in a take that was preserved in the final cut. This film also stands as a personal favorite of director Christopher Nolan, known for his own contributions to cinema. In a notable recognition of its memorable dialogue, the film's concluding words were selected as one of the greatest movie lines by a prominent publication. The cast was a gathering of talent, boasting four Academy Award winners and three nominees, showcasing the high caliber of acting skill brought to the screen. Additionally, the film's reference to a riverbed holds historical significance, as it is the location where two major freeways now intersect, leading into the heart of Burbank's original neighborhoods. In a notable appearance, Rance Howard stands out as an irate farmer in a pivotal scene, bringing with him a legacy of performance that extends to his son, Ron Howard, and granddaughter, Bryce Dallas Howard. The setting of the El Macondo apartments adds a layer of literary homage, its name echoing the fictional locale central to Gabriel Garcia Marquez's acclaimed novel. A subtle yet provocative detail emerges in a scene with J.J. Gitz and Evelyn Mulray, where a mirror shaped like an inverted pentagram is visible, introducing a silent commentary on the nature of evil, a poignant choice given director Roman Polanski's personal history and the tragic loss of his mother during the Holocaust. During the production of this classic film, Jack Nicholson's personal life intersected with his on-screen role as he was in a relationship with Angelica Houston while working closely with her father, John the tension was palpable during a pivotal scene where John's character confronts Nicholson's. Interestingly, the story was initially set to unfold entirely outside of Chinatown, which is not reflected in the final cut. The script came from the pen of Robert Town, known for his earlier work in horror and crime genres, 
and for polishing scripts of major films, establishing him as a significant figure in script writing circles. His collaboration with Roger Corman marked the beginning of a notable career in Hollywood script writing. In a notable casting decision, Jane Fonda declined the opportunity to portray Evelyn Mulray. The film subtly weaves in a historical event, referencing a catastrophic dam failure that devastated parts of Los Angeles, drawing from the real-life collapse of the St. Francis Dam in 1928. This tragedy, which claimed the lives of 431 people, was attributed to overlooked design flaws and delayed repairs by Chief Engineer William Mulholland, leading to his subsequent retirement and seclusion. Behind the scenes, Robert Town collaborated with Edward Taylor on the early script drafts, although Taylor did not receive official recognition for his contributions. In the backdrop of early 20th century Los Angeles, a story unfolds that mirrors the real-life disputes over water rights that plagued the region. The narrative draws from historical events where the city's water supply was augmented at the expense of the Owens Valley farmers, leading to their economic decline. This film has earned a spot on Roger Ebert's esteemed list of great movies, signifying its critical acclaim and significance in cinema. The visual style of one of its lead characters, portrayed by Faye Dunaway, is a nod to the past, specifically influenced by the director's personal recollections of his mother's appearance before the Second World War, marked by her distinct makeup choices. In a twist of fate, the director's chair for the notable film was almost occupied by John Huston, yet he turned down the opportunity. During its creation, a clandestine viewing was arranged for journalist Tom Burke, who was so captivated by the unfinished film that he watched it in its entirety without interruption, much to the delight of director Roman Polanski. The character Evelyn Mulray was nearly portrayed by Ollie Mackerel, but a personal turn of events, her divorce for actor Steve McQueen, led to a change in casting. When crafting the script for this classic film, Robert Town had Jack Nicholson in mind for the lead role, tailoring the narrative to suit his acting strengths. Meanwhile, Perry Lopez and Roy Jensen, who both appeared in the film, had previously acted in Star Trek episodes, bringing a touch of science fiction pedigree to the project. Additionally, director Roman Polanski once considered casting Julie Christie for the female lead, a choice that would have taken the film in a different direction. These decisions and considerations played a significant role in shaping the final product that audiences came to see on the screen. In a strategic move, producer Robert Evans sought out Roman Polanski for the directorial role, banking on his eagerness to rebound from recent setbacks. This decision paid off, as the film achieved notable success. The narrative also subtly nods to a real-life tragedy, the St. Francis Dam failure, which stands as one of the deadliest disasters in California, highlighting the dangers of unchecked ambition in engineering. Despite later controversies that led to Roman Polanski's departure from the United States, his work on this film and one other in America left a lasting mark before he continued his career in Europe. 